Good morning, Quadcopter 101. And what I got for you today is a neat new Quadcopter. This is the Wakira Furious 215, uh, the ready to fly version. It comes both in ready to fly with a Devo 7 transmitter, and it also comes in bind and fly with uh, just a Quadcopter. You apply your own, or provide your own uh, Wakira transmitter in case you have other Wakira products. Uh, let's go over the Quadcopter real quick. Let me put down the transmitter. Um, first off, let's go front to back. It comes with a 8 channel, not 48 channel, but an 8 channel uh, all, or camera, FPV uh, camera uh, with on screen display and 200 milliwatt transmitter at the back here. Now, you know, you're saying to yourself, 8 channels, yeah, well, it's selectable through these uh, three pin switches on the bottom here, but uh, each of the channels are one or like a channel from each of the more popular bands. Right now, I'm using a uh, channel B1 from uh, Boscan band E1, but you know, you know, normally you see 48 channels, but this one only comes with eight channels, but they, you know, there should be one or more channels that can, are applicable to your uh, particular goggles or screen. Um, let's see, what else on it? It has on-screen display, okay? <laughs> so you can uh, see what your battery power is. Uh, you know, it's rudimentary on, on-screen display. It doesn't have, uh, I don't believe it has uh, the angle and bank, angle, angle bars and, uh, and such for pitch and roll, but it does provide uh, battery power. And that's my most important thing that I worry about with on-screen display is remaining battery power. Comes with a seriously pro racing uh, F3 flight control board for a Wakira product. It's got it. Uh, it's loaded up with Clean Flight, a new version of Clean Flight, I believe. It's 1-14-2, which just came out, I believe, a month or so ago. <laughs> so you know, it's rather a new version of Clean Flight on there. Uh, it has an integrated flight or power distribution board on the bottom here uh, that's uh, integrated into the bottom plate of the quadcopter. Um, it has one shot ESC capable, uh, <laughs> one shot capable ESCs at 20 amps, and it comes with 2500 kV motors. And the props on it are 5 inch tri blades, uh, 50 40 tri blades, and uh, I think. I think that's about it. Let's go over some of the buttons on on this that you might be curious about. Um, you have uh, on your flight control board. This is your boot O button, I believe, and this button here is a slide switch. Here you can select S bus transmitters, or if you switch it to the other or the integrated transmitter that comes with it in its current position, or S bus transmitter by uh, switching it to the other uh, position. And on the right side, there is a button on your receiver for clearing fixed ID settings. If you want to re uh, um, to bind your uh, rebind your transmitter or bind another transmitter, you can clear the fixed ID settings by pressing that button there. Uh, and finally, it comes with LED bars uh, that you have to install yourself, actually, um, but they're very bright and they plug right in. The power distribution board on the left and right side, it has a plug for them, and it's very easy to plug them in. And finally, it comes with a 4S battery, 1300 milliamp per hour battery to give it plenty of oomph, hopefully. We'll find it here shortly. So let's go for a flight of the Furious 215 and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. I forgot to go over the Devo 7 transmitter that comes with the bind, the bind or not the bind to fly, the ready to fly version. Uh, it is all set up and ready to go. There's really not much you need to do with this, if anything at all. Um, I went in and checked all the switches the way they're set up. This is angle, horizon, and um, acro. This switch here, and this is the, other, the only other switch that's set up. Um, all the way forward, it's just uh, standard flying. If you want to go into air mode for any of these three positions, you can press the switch down here. And most people go into acro and go into air mode. Uh, I don't know what air mode is going to do for you in angle mode, or, but it might work for horizon. So, and finally, uh, to arm the motors, you bring the throttle down to the left, and to lock the motors, throttle down and to the right. And that's the way the transmitter is set up, ready to fly. So let's go into the flight and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy the flight. Okay, I'm going to start off flying uh, line of sight just to show it flying in angle mode and show the punch shots on this. So, uh, arming the motors. We should be good to go. Let's take to the air. And see how it flies. Get a feel for it. And ready for the punch. <laughs> Lots of punch. 
So let's do that one more time, just showing you the punch, and then we'll go into acro flying. Bring it in close in. Okay, got plenty of punch. Now the lights on this are blinking. I don't know what that means or not, if they're supposed to be blinking in angle mode. Oh, okay. So there it is. Very stable flyer in angle. Nice little flight aircraft. Okay, let's land it and go and do some acro flying with it. So bringing it into the landing pad, and I'm going to go put my goggles on. Okay, let's go for acro. Okay, let's try it in acro. I got my goggles on, and arming by down and to the left, and going to acro, selecting acro. I got 16.2 volts, we should be good to go. I got to arm it again. We're good to go, here we go. Notice we got lots of wildflowers today, folks. Lots of wildflowers. Just flying it around general here first. Seeing where I'm at here. Getting bearings. Uh, this is Spangler Hills, by the way. Uh, Off-highway vehicle area. Lots of people come here, to, actually in the wintertime mostly, uh, to ride dirt bikes. Okay, let's go up, give it a little altitude first before I try anything weird. Let's try. Okay, that worked good. Coming around the other way. Want to get a feel for it. Okay, it works great. And watching my voltage, we have plenty of volts, folks. Let's get down low to the ground now. That's what I wanted to do with this, is low to the ground flying. Well, the settings, the, the uh, pit settings on this are, aren't too shabby. Nice and stable, very stable. Flying nicely. That's one thing about Wakira, they actually do fly their products before releasing them as compared to some other vendors. <laughs> that's, that's nice that they do that. <laughs> they should do that. All vendors should do that. You know, fly them first to make sure that they do fly. Okay. I only got my, gu or my camera set up 20 degrees, so I'm not going to be going super fast with this. I just want to show it good by... Oh, by the way, look at all the wildflowers we got out here today. Yeah, nice flyer. <laughs> Ooh, I'm getting dizzy doing that. It flies nicely, folks. Very nice and stable. Good flyer. Akira. Fury is 215. And it's okay, low voltage. Get low voltage worrying. That's great. I got plenty of volts still, but really it's saying low volts, but I'm going to bring it in. I would have gone down lower than 14.6 volts. But let's bring it in. First flight of this thing, so I don't want to mess it up too badly. Can I? Probably not. That's as close as I'm going to get it, folks. And locking. 14. I could have gone lower, I think. I could have gone to 13.4 at least. But I'll take that, huh? Okay. That is the first flight of the Wakira Furious. Um, good flyer, ready to go right out of the box. That's what I like about it. Uh, nice LEDs on the bottom of it. Uh, plenty of punch with its 4S battery. Um, it's just overall a good 
hassle-free product, I, I feel, in the way it comes, uh, as compared to many other cheaper ones. <laughs> this one's not, this one is hassle-free. So if you're looking for a hassle-free <laughs> quadcopter ready to fly out of the box, here you go, the Wakira Furious 215. Hope you enjoyed this flight, this is Quadcopter 101, signing out.